Hey friends, welcome to One Little Coder. In this PyScript tutorial, we are going to learn two different options to deploy PyScript web application. So if you've got a PyScript web application, I'm going to teach you two different options how you can deploy your PyScript web application. The first option is to use GitHub pages and the second option is to use Netlify. So we're going to see both these options of how to deploy your PyScript web application. And in both these cases, you would need a GitHub repository, a GitHub repository like this, and you need to have a file name called index.html. So whatever we have coded, just make sure that you create a repository and then you upload the file in the name of index.html. So this is the file that we used to learn forms. So just if you have uh, if you have been following my tutorial, you would have seen that we made a tutorial on forms. So this is exactly the same file where we are going to use form and then do a small operation and then we are going to print out the output. So what we are going to do now is first we are going to learn how to deploy this website on GitHub pages. It is quite simple. You may not even realize that it is actually deployment. The first thing is go to settings. After you go to settings, go to pages. After you go to pages, you have to in, 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 in my case, this is already live, but I'm, I'll just tell you. So you have to go click here, click the main branch and then click here, click the root and then save. Once you save, you're going to get a link like this. And once you click the link, you're going to get this place where you can, you can actually see your web application live. And you can see the URL. This is not on localhost. This is not on my machine, but this has been hosted on GitHub pages. I can go here and then say something. Maybe one little, one little coder subscribe, submit one little coder subscribe is a good human from India. Okay. So publishing the site or deploying your PyScript web application on GitHub pages put without server is successfully done. So let's go back to our GitHub repository and then click this just so that it's easy for us to copy the URL. So the first thing is we have successfully managed to deploy this on GitHub pages. Okay, that's first job is done. The second thing is I'm going to teach you how to deploy the same on Netlify. This is again easy. You may not even feel like you're actually deploying something. First, go to app.netlify.com. So app.netlify.com. After you go here, you're going to have one of these options. In my case, I already have an account. I've already given Netlify permissions to my GitHub repository. If you have not done it, maybe there is a first step that you have to do. Once you try to log in with GitHub, it's going to ask you certain permissions and you need to give those permissions. In my case, just to repeat, I've already done it and I'm already even hosting a couple of websites. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click add new site. After you log in, after you give all the permissions, I'm going to click add new site and I'm going to say import an existing project. Okay. And then it's going to ask me to do things. It's asking me from where do I want to import? Where is the Git repository? The Git repository could be available on three different Git providers. One, GitHub, two, GitLab, three, Bitbucket. If you do not have any of this, you can also start with a simple template. Like if you, if you want to upload a file, you can do that as well. But we want it just, just to make continuous development easier. Let's go ahead and then select GitHub. So after I select GitHub, you're going to get this thing and it's going to check whether you have authorized. And after you do that, you're going to get all these options of your GitHub repository. And just, just make sure that you have given this rights to Netlify either for a set of repository or for all the repository. Otherwise, Netlify would not be able to identify the repo where you have got your PyScript application. I'm going to search for PyScript at this point and um, it, it should ideally show. Let me press enter and it should show the list of PyScript repository. And, and once it shows, we can pick anything. So I think um, at this point, I've got a multiple PyScript application. So let's stick to the HTML form. So I'm going to click HTML form and then it's asking me which branch I should deploy. In, in my case, I had only one branch main branch, but if you have multiple branches, like you have a development branch, you have a staging branch, then make sure that which one you want to do. And then rest of the thing is default setting. And I'm going to click deploy setting. Once I click deploy setting, you can actually see that it is starting up. Click it so you can see the deploy log as well. So build is ready and you can see everything is getting um, deployed. And um, and yeah, I think at this point, yeah, site is live. So we started um, almost in 20 seconds. We have successfully managed to deploy the site. So I'm going to go. So how do how do I access my site? I'm going to go ahead 
and then click this report this name and then I can click this and then when I click this button it's going to give me the form okay amazing but what is the name joyful pudding <laughs> the name is something weird so now what I'm going to show you is how you can change this names for something meaningful so I'm going to go ahead and then click domain settings and then I'm going to see the options and I'm going to say edit site name in edit site name I'm going to give some meaningful site name I'm going to say why script form demo and I'm going to save it forms demo maybe forms demo and I'm going to save it at this point your site name is getting changed this might take a little bit of time for it to reflect but let's click and then check whether it works so in the old URL if if if, if, if I refresh this it ideally meant yeah so it shouldn't work because you have you have reclaimed a different URL at this point in PyScript dash forms dash demo dot netlify dot app this application is deployed and you can see it is loading and let's let's try it out while it is getting loaded let's try it out after it loads I mean after it loads let's see if we can if we can actually edit a name and then we can change something if you want to see what is happening again you can you can right click and then do inspect element then try to see what is happening at the browser end because this is not a server side application this is everything is happening right now the browser so while while we are waiting for this to completely load I'll, I'll just quickly show you a couple of other options that you have in Netlify one is you can add a custom domain for example let us say you have you have developed a PyScript application and you want to make a commercial application you want to you want to have your own domain rather than having something like .netlify.app or maybe you have got your own domain already and then you want to say you know my demo on demo to slash something like that in that case you can go here and then add custom domain and that custom domain would override this domain what you have already claimed like you can still keep that but you can still go ahead and then add your custom domain so that um, it's it's your branded or like whatever domain you have the next thing is if you make any changes to this github repository um, you can you can do couple of things to do CA CD which means continuous integration and continuous deployment but uh, if you if you don't want to set up CA CD after you make changes here you can come back here and then redeploy the website which means uh, your website would be up and running the other thing that you can do is you can come here and then get the badge there will be a badge somewhere here no so ideally there will be a badge that you can deploy here just to the, especially if you set up a CA CD pipeline you can you can set up a badge in your readme and then that would work so at this point our application is up and running so I'm going to I'm going to go say you know what um, name is Elon Musk and I'm going to say Elon Musk is from Germany and then you know the hover effect submit Elon Musk is a good human from Germany oh that's nice Bill Gates is a good human from Germany so Ideally, what we wanted to do is we wanted to set up, we wanted to deploy or we wanted, you can call it deploying or you can call it publishing, you can call it any name that you want. But we wanted to deploy our PyScript web application on the internet for somebody to use. So now what you can do is all you have to do is copy this URL and share it with your friends, um, potential employer, maybe you are attending an interview, you are a student, you are submitting an assignment, anything. All you need to do is copy this URL and share it with your friends and uh, professor and employer. They'll be able to access this at the same time when you are accessing this. And that's a good thing about Netlify because Netlify gives you a lot of options. And um, you know it doesn't look silly also. For example, uh, sometimes when you deploy it on GitHub pages, people think, oh, this is just GitHub pages, it's quite easy. But when you deploy it on Netflix, Net Netlify, um, it's not that difficult. But still, you know, it's it's uh, sometimes people consider it to be a slight upgrade from GitHub pages. So that, that gives a different perspective altogether when you deploy it. And the other option is easy. You can easily um, add a um, custom domain. You can do a lot of other stuff. So um, I hope this video was helpful to you in uh, learning how to deploy or publish your PyScript application. To quickly summarize, we first learned that we need to deploy, we need to create a GitHub repository and we need to upload a file called index.html and then we learned how to deploy it on github pages and then we learned how to deploy it on netlify i hope this video was helpful to you if you have any questions let me know in the comment section otherwise see you in the next video peace